Hi, darkness. Hi, Rayleigh. Hello, hello. How is everyone? Oh. Wait one second. I didn't realize I didn't change this, like, goal. Oh, no. Wait. I don't even know where I have it. One second. I'm changing it. <laughs> but yeah, how is everyone? Yeah, sorry I didn't um, stream yesterday. I got really uh, litty on Saturday night. And yeah, I got really litty on Saturday night. And I slept in so late on Sunday. But also, like, with the... What is it? With the... We went forward an hour, so that, like, also fucked me up, too. So... I'm gonna blame it on that, but yeah, I literally did not get out of bed until like, like 4.30 p.m. or something. So I'm just trying to see like, what's the goal number? Oh, sorry. Don't mind my hat on here. One moment. Ah, uh, I'm all over the place. One sec. Five. Okay. I forgot I needed to change that. Ah, okay. Yes, the aggressive time change. Yeah, it was it was rough. I, like, why do we even do that anymore? Like, I thought it had to do with like something about crops and some shit back in the olden times. But like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> we don't need di daylight. We have cars and stuff and street lamps and lights and electricity and whatever. So it's kind of like, is it really needed anymore? Like, it's very archaic. So. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I literally did nothing yesterday. Um, I did... Actually, no, I did play some Honkai. However, I didn't progress any of the main story because I want to do that on stream. Um, I just did, like, a few side quests and whatever. And holy shit, like, all of the options for the main character are so fucking sassy. Like, I was talking to Asta and she was like, Hey, can you, like, follow Peppy around to, like, find out where the fuck Arlen went? Because, like, I think he's complaining about me. And then, like, the two options it gave me were, like, I'd rather die or why can't you do it yourself? Like, those are the two options. I didn't want to pick either. I was like, where's the nice option? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to be sassy and, like, mean. I want to, I want, like, the polite, like, I'll do anything you ask. Karina, hello, hello. How are you? Um... Yeah, so I did a few side quests. I went around and like killed some of the formidable foes. Um, and yeah, it was, yeah, I just did like that. I ran around and opened like every single trash can and bail of bog. So um, I got an achievement for it actually. So, <laughs> Or it was like collect all the good shit out of the cans or something like that. Recovering me too from Saturday. <laughs> Khan, hello! I oh, shit, I forgot about Dale. I missed my raid. Oh, oops. Sorry. Yeah, I just started. No, you're good. You're good. Also, welcome, welcome. I hope your stream was well. I was busy working. I was actually working. I had like a lot of work to do. And then my coworkers were like not answering me. And I'm like, hello, like I need answers here. Like I'm just sitting here on my butt. I'm recovering for four teeth bean toes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that sounds rough. Oh no, is your is your face like all like swollen? Did they have to like put you under? I've only ever had like two of my wisdom teeth removed and that was it. Yeah, you're playing Phasmo. I still need to, I still have it installed. I have it preemptively st installed for whenever, whenever we play and I've been itching to play it. My job, I'm really bad, so. Like it's, it's usually me that dies. <laughs> Same, I forgot about daylight. Yeah, I haven't slept yet. I was up all night. F and fourteen. Nice. Yeah. Also, also. Oh, you so you Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was put under my face. No. Okay, that's good. Yeah. When I got my wisdom teeth pulled, they also put me under, which I was like, thank goodness. I was like sitting in the chair, and I, and they're like, okay, like we're gonna have you count back from like ten or something, and I'm like, how long does this usually take? And then I was just out. <laughs> It's okay. I carry you, carry your dead body. At least you're going back in to take a photo of it. I feel like when I played with people, they were like, nah, not worth it to get the insurance on your body. Like, we out, like, dipping and diving. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna play it. 
Mind you, I do have a little announcement. Also, yes, Yozo, hi! Um, I'm on VGen now! It's probably obvious from my... I, I'm, I've been having issues with my fucking Twitter today where I'm just trying to fucking change my name. But anyways, it's stuck on there right now, so yeah. I miss Phasma, yeah, I'd play, so... Two bottom right, one top left, and one bottom right. Oh, well, hopefully you don't need to go back and that's all you need, so... Yeah. Oh no, yeah, feel free to like DM me Yozo and I can look into it after. I do need to go update my credits, but I do keep like a good log on my PC of everyone I've commissioned. So I can, if you just DM me on Twitter, I can definitely go in and and uh, look for you. So two bottom left, fuck, <laughs> no worries. But yeah, 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 I'm on VGen now. Woo, I'm gonna link it in the chat, Wee. Um, It's not live yet though. I'm currently still like fiddling with services and whatnot, um, but I have like my work queue, like my Trello's like all up to date and stuff. So like, yeah, it's it's pretty litty. It is pretty fucking litty. Also, hi Sophie. How about tonight? Uh, we'll see. Um, I kind of want to work on more <laughs> of my beach and stuff, but I'll, I'll figure I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. Yeah, no worries, Yozo. But hey, I got pudding jello. Oh my goodness, I love jello. I'd kill for some jello right now. I want to try playing Phasm VR again. Maybe I won't get sick anymore. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. <laughs> Tamsi, hello, hello. And yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. But yeah, so I'm on VGen now. Um, my friend so graciously gave me a code. I literally reached out to her and was like, oh, you're on VGen, right? Like, how did you go about like doing that? Like, I'm interested in like, getting on there too and she's like oh here I'll just give you a code because I guess if you get verified on VGen which is like get 10 followers make a hundred bucks in the last 30 days have like three different reviews from people like different like commissioners and then like get a 4.6 average star rating I guess they give you like a few codes to give out so she had one so I was like oh shit I was like you're giving me one for free so like all like this afternoon I've just been like working on like updating it a bit and stuff so but yeah it's getting there it's a work in progress I had to like like my work queue now links to my Trello which I've like fully updated and stuff right now so yeah I don't know what I'm all gonna offer first um but yeah work in progress anyways that was my announcement so um yeah exciting exciting <laughs> okay we're gonna go right into um, Honkai because I want to unlock shit. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I tried to, my, my friend messaged me and was like, it was just like, change from English to Japanese, thank me later. And so I'm like, okay, I'll play Japanese while I'm just playing like solo off stream. And yeah, it's like 10 hundred times better. However, if I play in Japanese on stream, that's so much more reading that I'm gonna have to read out. And then I'm just gonna be reading over the Japanese voices anyway. So it's like, what's the point? I'm gonna just fucking, Playing English on screen. Yeah, Proto. Just like out of nowhere. He was just like, he was just like, thank me later. <laughs> oh, I don't even, I just started playing like on Wednesday, Yozo. So this is all, this is all new to me. I'm trying to do like all of the main story on stream. So, which is why I've streamed like so many times in the past five days, which is highly unusual for me, but <laughs> do it, do it. Wait, there's English? Yeah, you guys are gonna hear it. It's gonna be... It's not that bad. You can definitely... Some some VAs we've already, like, pinpointed. But let me go over there. Let me get in the game. Oh, trust. I, like... Once I'm caught up with it... Is there... Does the game come out with, like, more main story, by the way? Like, is it, like, always updating? Or is it just like the main story and then it's over? So I'm just like, I'm just like going around. What am I doing? Who no were you shocked just now? Well, yeah, you guys get to hear the English now. So oh, I was here yesterday, like using my stamina. So um... yeah, what have I done since you guys left? Okay, I'm not capped yet. We're good. Re <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was where my luck went, okay? 
Every big update has more story. Okay, so it was 2.1, like a huge update too. Okay. Well, I didn't really play Genshin either. This is like... <laughs> I played a bit of Genshin and it didn't like really grab me, so I stopped playing, so... Um, yeah, what did I do since you guys were on? I leveled up my team to ascend one level 30 at least, like my main people. Um, I gave them all like relics that I had. I leveled up their light cones to like, I haven't enhanced it, like ascended it, I guess. Um, just to like make them a bit more powerful. I don't know. I don't know how much I how much I should have done that, but I was like, well, I have stuff left over, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want Doctor Ratio on my team for like ever because I love him. Genshit, <laughs> no, is that what people are calling it? <laughs> okay, what is this? I found an old Express communication log in the data bank, and one of the categories is dad jokes. Why? I don't fully understand it, but my instincts tell me you should be able to. Am I like that? Yes. Oh. This is what it says. Oh god. On watch keeping duty with Himiko, she's talking in her sleep. Pom pom. There's an another entry an hour later. On watch keeping duty with pom pom, they have been talking in their sleep for almost an hour. What the fuck is this? It's clearly a horror story. <laughs> is it? I didn't understand it, but it sounds like we need an extra tag for it. Bro, I don't even know what that means. Okay, I do not care for this conversation right now. But I'll take those. Okay, what else do we have? <laughs> oh, my daily missions. Okay, see, yeah, the, this thing, the adventure mission I did a few offline, and my, like, daily mission. It was just this that I didn't progress. Let me just grab everything. Uno momento. Hoyo just hates the player base at this point. What? Why? Yay. I guess I can just... I should just dispatch them again on the other ones, too. Um... Okay. Sorry, just doing all the little daily stuff. I haven't logged in yet. I literally just got off work. Okay. Um, Where am I going? We are going back to... Oh, and I went and got all these, like, little treasure chests and stuff, too. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even check if I got all of them. Okay, I know I couldn't get one of them, but I think it's because I need Japard to unlock. I don't know. There's, like, this gate over here, and I kept talking to the guy, and I eventually, like, Googled it. And someone was like, oh, just talk to the dude four times, um, and then the gate should open. But when I watched a video, like, Japard was like a part of it and I don't have him unlocked yet so Hongai getting a free character lit the Genshin community on fire because they get the bare minimum stuff no it's not really Hoiverse though it's like Genshin dev team yeah yeah I, I did re I did uh, see that um Hongai Star Rail is like from the same same people damn that sucks though was it doc was it Dr. Ratio? Is that what they're irate about that we got for free? <laughs> Cause I love him. Look at him, he's beautiful. Okay, let me go over to Boulder Town. Let's unlock some more shit. Yeah, because I literally can't like ascend people or anything because I haven't progressed the story. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. That's how you said Gerda? That looks like Goeth. Yep. You've probably seen that stylish Gerda hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred Why years she ago, one like ancestor this? of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Three poles for three years. Oh, I don't play Genshin, but I read somewhere they got like, what? He eventually realized oh? his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do Wait, you, think? you guys had said Should last time that there's an anniversary event coming up for Honka as well, right? 
time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? It's probably like FOMO at this point. People are like, damn, I'm sank so much money and time into Genshin that I can't leave it. Even if they treat me like shit. <laughs> um, Oleg. <sighs> Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. The kitchen player face is just straight up bad. <laughs> but if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> yeah, I would care if, like, their second game Anyone was getting more leaving? treatment than, like, the one that I play. i say leave it to me. You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. Oh. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Who the fuck? Why are we trusting you, lady? You're literally evil. Branya? Did you finish talking to Oleg? Well, she's not okay, evil, but like, her mom you. is. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. <laughs> You're sweet, I've come Bronia. to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. We don't trust her. You're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... Uh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. My sweet pillow, I need you mercy. <laughs> they had a strike as a protest at some point earlier this year because they were awarded no way, what the fuck? It just still makes me lean, so they'll keep giving the players scraps if they throw their money out. That's so sad, though. I'm so glad I got Bronia, even if it did take me all the 300 free pulls. Oh, damn. I like her. She's kind of cool. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. How do I get her? I also... um, Because, like, we already pulled on her and got her, so I'm not interested in pulling on this banner. And this is a... I don't want that either. And I don't want a light cone. And I don't want this light cone. But like, is it worth it to like pull on these people? Like, or do I get any of them for free at some point? Like, I don't know. I have like 13 tickets right now that I could go 10 times. So. Oh, is this everyone that you can get? <gasps> yeah, this little draggy girl. Oh shit, should we try? Are we gambling? Are we gambling? Yeah, I am well. Oh god, Bernie, yeah. Yeah, pull for them, you don't get any for free. Never use. Wait, what's a jade? Oh, yeah, no. I usually spend those on the, the good tickets, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna use the jades. So I have 13 of the like these tickets. Yeah, I know we gotta we gotta go and exchange them for the good ones. I'm just keeping them. I guess I could spend them on the good ones right now. I'm probably gonna pull on something on the next banner. So, oh my god, I will not get Bronia. <laughs> yes, we're Gambin. Also, hi Snow. Hello, hello. Also, hi, uh, Sleepio. Wait, I don't know how to say that. Is that an I? Is it Sleepio? Theo. Who am I pulling for? Literally any of these people. I'm a collector. I want at least one of everyone. So, Bitcoin, hello. Well, I kind of want Bronia. She looks cute, but I wouldn't be opposed to having uh, Himiko either. And I don't really know anything about Japard, so... You can pull on a Kiron. The next banner is, I think, okay, yeah, everyone's saying that they uh, just say Theo. Okay, I will. 
Thankfully, you have two. Oh, I belong to you, bro. Damn. And then again, I was one of the people who reached 16. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I slid into your friend. Request. No worries. I'll, get, I'll, uh, I'll accept it in a second. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. We. It's probably gonna be something bad. I don't, I don't want to look. I'm closing my eyes. I'm not. It's purple. I don't know. Ah. Yay, light cones. <laughs> Beautiful. What? <laughs> oh my god, you're joking. It was just like a light. It was just a light cone that I got. Oh, rip. It was even worse, guys. I didn't even get Ireland. Oh god. Where do I go? Oops, wrong one. Well, no skin off my back, so. Yeah. Look at all the friends I have now. I don't know what this means. Like, what? what is the red? Is this you guys, like, speaking to me? Is that, like, our chat? What is that? Someone messaged me and I messaged them back. Oh, I don't know if I did. What is it? Say it in the chat. And so it begins, right? Well, soft pity is 40 and hard is 80. Okay. Erlina. Wait, I don't need the. How do I send a friend request? Oh, here we go. Wait, I need your u the u u i d. Oh no, I need numbers. I need numbers. Oh, it's Give me your numbers. Or when they're in front of you. So, oh, I have a little. <gasps> Wait. What do I have? Oh my god, I have so many. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, then you're probably in it here. Okay. Wait, let me see. Sorry, I keep I keep thinking that's like the friends and it's not. Mm. Does this only show people that are online or offline? Because I don't see you. I'll have to grab it. Oh, you played me. Um... Sorry, I'm speed reading. I don't know if this is just like text for the story or just like flavor text on my table. Oh god. Fuck if I know. Very satisfied. <laughs> Dear guest, rate the tea. Oh, very satisfied. We love tea. I didn't make any tea today. Um It's good. <laughs> I'm very happy with... Sure, why not? Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Because uh, I saw it at the bottom. Okay, more like I played myself, yeah. Rick, when sorry, when does the next um banner come out again? I feel like I've asked like 30 times. Um Oh, I didn't even rest yet. Oh no, I raided it before I even rested in it. Oh. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? Oh, is this Cocolia or whatever? Nineteen days. Silence. She is my daughter, my only you soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never
dude, she's like kind of like, look at her arm, it has like ice on it and shit. How long are our banners uh, voice again. usually up Such for anyway? And I'm on the North American server, I'm in Canada. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Okay, anything else in this room? Baronia! Who goes there? Show yourself! Oh my god, girl, calm down. Yeah, I'm in Canada. West Coast, best coast. Next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. No sleep for you either, huh? I can't sleep unless I've worked for eight hours. I've been having nightmares about your mother. What do you mean, ew? What? I understand. This is where I was born, okay? The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. I could have been born in Manitoba, and that seems worse, okay? That seems fucking Actually, worse. <laughs> seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? 14 days, 14 hours, okay. West Coast? What are you trying to say with that Bitcoin? Why are you trailing off there? Yeah, till Sparkle is gone, which we got in 30 pulls. Sorry, I kept saying I got her in three pulls, but I meant like three 10 pulls, so technically 30. <laughs> I don't think I ever pull one at a time because I think that's lame. <laughs> like just pulling one and I'm like, oh, this sucks. I'd rather have a batch of 10 and be disappointed <laughs> that I agree on, right? That's true. Yeah, I'll come move over here. Get, get out of the East Coast. This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the eternal freeze? I don't know. I'm a Stellaron myself, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> they seem pretty confident, so... <laughs> Thank you for being sincere. In itself, it's a comfort to me. You skipped her? I thought she looked really cute, and I play games because things look cute, so... She's cute! <laughs> I wanted her! <laughs> Feel bad for people who pulled Sparkle with... Wait, who's Dill? Is he a character? Sorry, I don't know all of the... I don't know all the names yet. I know someone... Um... What was it? Who who said? I don't remember last time in my chat. They said that I should watch all of the like YouTube like trailers for all the characters, which I'd totally be down to like make a stream out of. But if that would be okay with everyone to just watch stuff for for a uh, for a bit, I don't know how long the trailers are. You're over in Ontario. Oh, L. I also in Ontario. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I want Ekron's Eidolons, and so I'm saving up. Oh, because you're just going to keep pulling and pulling it over again. Okay. Okay. I want a seal repeat. She was cool. I'd have to see, like, I mean, I'd just probably put it under Honkai Star Rail and then play more Honkai after, but I don't even know how many characters are out at the moment. Like, 20, 30, 50, 40? You know... It was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. Oh, big heads over here. You think you're the only ones in the universe? Mm -mm -mm. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to a rescue sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? Because she lied to my fucking face. She consulted with the devil and now she's possessed. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> you have snow coming down here? Yeah, we got some snow over here too, but I'm hoping it's gone now for good and we're going into spring. She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. See, like, what are these options? Like, hmm. I'm gonna say you had no choice. I don't need you to absolve me. The 
the truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I need to look at all the characters and stuff because I don't really want to pull on banners if I'm not sure that I like like the person, I guess. <laughs> God, I wish the snow would go away. It was so cold when I left. Yeah, F that. I mean, I work from home, so I don't really, like, even if it does snow, it doesn't really affect past, me, but <laughs> I still hate it. Soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomarov remained open. The passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. What the fuck did you How expect? You her mind? <laughs> what? what? I tried, but she you literally wasn't. pulled out the entire military out of this area. They're just like miners, like taking up the fight. Like what? <laughs> if you're prepared, <gasps> I know what a whale is. No. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Mm. Let's work together. Maybe we can make a change. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I, I just need more time to think. In the reverse 1999 gacha that I played, I think the only thing I really spent money on was like that monthly thing. And I think Honkai like has that same kind of thing. Like you just get little daily rewards every day for like under 10 bucks or something. Wait, what's considered a dolphin? I know a whale is like you literally dump as much money as like you, money's not a thing. Like money means is no issue for you. <laughs> Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Bro, I didn't have any problems until I met you and your mom. So, just saying. Also, I burnt the freaking tip, like the top of my the roof of my mouth that was having miso soup before stream when I was like ah. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Yeah, it's so fucking loud up in uh, the overworld. The quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still? Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? No. Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. You spend so many on stuff, but not a lot. Okay. Do they have like different outfits for people in this game? Like, is that a thing too? Like cosmetics or no? They're just like how they look like. And another you can't say. Yes, yeah, secret secrets. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, I am reading the chat. I'm just like speed reading what all you guys are saying. I'm lost in this combo yet. I don't know about, I don't know enough about it's the game too yet. It's dangerous <laughs> to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Hello, we were just eavesdropping. Sounds like we arrived just on time. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Sleep is for the week. Up to no good, perhaps? 
We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else then. Damn. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. Because I am. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Are there other towns on the underground? <sighs> The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. <laughs> after all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. You guys are cute! <laughs> Just chit-chatting with each other in my chat. <laughs> I'm retaining the information for later when I figure out what it means. <laughs> and no skins, okay. Yeah, what is sleep, dude? I went to bed, like, so fucking late yesterday just because, like, one, I slept in so late, and two, the time change. Like, 9 p.m. felt like it was 5 p.m. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. Alright, what's the plan? You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. I like Natasha. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. Neo's like, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> to be honest, there are some rumors spreading that we get skins. Ooh, I love skins. <laughs> Dude, that would be so sick. <gasps> Hydrate, thank you. Sleep is for the week. Yeah, I bet everyone was pretty cranky. My, uh... The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit and you'll arrive there. My coworkers and I had like a huge like squabble about time off when we got into work today. Well, not really me. It was between my two coworkers that are like in my little team of three. I was just like sitting back eating popcorn. So <laughs> Christmas costume shield would be great. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, that would be. Let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. If we got skins like in Grand Blue, that would be insane. Dude, I oh, also rubbing love alcohol. I different kept a outfits. bunch of the orphanage <laughs> since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. I like Natasha's oh, I little giggle. Still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. Phew. <laughs> These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece Ooh, of cake. cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. I fucking love it. How do you say her name? Zeal? Zealy? Were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to Zila. venture into the Fragmentum on her own. I know it's not her first rodeo, 
But the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters. Dude, I like really like I Natasha's voice actor in English. Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and Zila. eager to be the yeah. best. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna For butcher everyone's name her, here. They might find Bronia, I, I'm purposely, difficult. I know it's like Bronia or like Bronia or something, but I like her, Bronia. Even with your life. Stick around She's a like a bro, longer. but a cat. We'll see what I mean. Oh shit, space! Thank you for the sub! Also, hello! How are you? I feel like I didn't get to see enough of you on the weekend. But I'll be on again this weekend, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We love our mommy doctors. I know! Look at her! Look at her fit! And she's got a little bear on her side? Like, what? Alright, where are we going? Um... Doo -doo -doo. I was only on Saturday, but I got fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I was only on Saturday too. I'm usually only on Saturdays nowadays. Let's go to Rivet Town. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. Good. You left us to get dancies. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> You're like, someone's gonna dance on me, so I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> oh, it was like all set up for Christmas time here. I sat down and died. Oh my god. <laughs> See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Yeah, what kind of dances were there? Or do you not even remember? Because he died. <laughs> Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. Wait, whose name? Zila? I miss those carefree days as a kid. Or Bronia. Oh, Bronia. Like huh. a brony. <laughs> what? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Oh no, does she have like memories locked away? Weirdo. Did her mom make the Stellaron do weird shit to her brain? Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Oh my goodness, Yozo. How did you not know that they were- <laughs> I looked by. And they were good dances. Uh, I danced a lot on the weekend. Like I was pooped. Like I actually like usually when I go in VR chat, um, I dance until I'm like, okay, I'm getting out of VR now because my shit's dying and my legs hurt. But I actually laid down for like 15 minutes. It was insane. First time in forever. I'm asking questions. Let's play for a while. Well, that was easy. Well, now I feel over leveled. The end of the story in your own way. Actually, what do we have here? Um, there's one warp trotter. Okay. Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved mm. well here for a special meal. Just this one. So, did she ever bring you? Do you do any more like break damage if you like break someone from the behind? Your answers. Oh, Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Yeah, she gives seven. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. And she no, makes it so, like, I guess if someone has, really like, faster so? speed than you, you can make now them go that next. You it, Wait, what the hell is that red text that keeps popping little... up? Could people still be living here? Impossible. Are we just gonna loot their shit? No, you know what I mean! Like, their weakness! Like, if you do it while they're not facing you, does it, like... Does it, um... Break more or less?
Wait, what's over here? There's a bunch of crates piled over the- I'm <laughs> just like, it's the same, okay. I'm asking questions. Test. Did that hurt? Yeah, like, I could use my support to, like, move him up, but she can break this guy, so I'm kind of just gonna do that instead. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Well, I'm kind of glad I like leveled everyone like as fast as I could go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. I thought it was gonna get. I thought it was gonna get to me before I got to it. <laughs> Seriously, Doctor Ratio is never going off my team. So just ask for permission before you break you. Hell no. Consent has been given. Ooh, I love these things. Okay. Okay. I find these so much fucking fun. Hmm. Wait. Do they all have to connect? Oh god, I don't remember. Um. I run, figure it out. Give me. Looks good. Wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. What did it even say to me? Please complete trial of. E it's so fast, I can't even fucking read it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. You can do the new pure fiction because it shares like there. Yeah, I love. I love my doctor ratio. Oh no. We'll come back for him later. We'll come back for him later. He's complete. Okay, should I? Do I need to deviate? Sorry, does anyone know what message it is like giving me right now? Where it's like Please complete something in regards to like my trailblazer level. Yota. Okay, after raising your equal equilibrium level, enemies in the world become stronger. After raising your enemies will drop more. Okay. So I have to do this. Must complete trailblaze mission, not good with- oh my god, so I'm like- I'm like capped. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, where were we? Okay, and I can't even do it yet because I haven't finished the mission over here. <laughs> oh god. Okay, one second. I'm going to explore before I go where it tells me to. Is that all? So basically, people are gonna be just like weak as fuck right now. And I'm probably gonna, like, gonna roll them. Oh, there's like people everywhere. Okay, let's lift you up, bro. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> oh, it said I had to complete a specific quest, and I don't think I'm on that quest yet. Oh. <gasps> Damn it. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Let's go. 
Um, yeah, it said... Yeah, so must complete Trailblaze mission, not good with farewells. And I'm assuming that is like the main story that we're on right now. I swear, you little guy, keep going. You little guy. Oh goodness, where's. <laughs> oh my god, no, we're running. <laughs> we'll come back to that later. <laughs> See me. Just like totally going off from the main path. Okay. Well, I was supposed to go like back over here somewhere, but I love exploring. <gasps> Hi, Brayden. Hello. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Did that hurt? Your answers? Mm. Sorry, I know I can use like all my alts, but like I like to like save them for uh like boss fights and stuff. Especially when these are so easy to roll like just normally, like my turn! Oops. Got horrible news from work, got to work late, and got set back like a whole fucking day. What the fuck? Why? Daylight savings time? Did it fuck you up? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but Looks good. that sucks. What the hell? Also, wait, I'm gonna go back down there because I feel like I'm progressing too far. <laughs> Back we go, really quick, really, really quick. Ooh, oh, that's what that guy's guarding. Okay. Oh, darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? I had a pretty good day at work. I finished one of my goals for this quarter, and I'm about to start my next goal. And I have to finish that before the end of this month. The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And, if and it did take anything, I booked some this place time off. Would look much messier. I don't know, cause was it Brayden? Was it you that was telling me that, like, if we go camping July long weekend, that it's somewhere else now? I went and booked. Um, I don't exactly know what dates those are. I would assume that they were wanting to go like a bit before the long weekend and then the long weekend. So I booked like Wednesday to the Friday off, um, just before the long weekend. So. I just updated rigs, and of course they're different from what we used like in the last two weeks. Oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I mean, Why would they do that to you? Someone else got here and took everything before us. It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Okay. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. I'm excited. I need to go buy, like, so much camping stuff now. I literally own zero camping things. I'm excited. And I'm gonna try and get Kibbs down here for it, too, so... And he's never, like, actually, like, camped before, so... He's like, where do we shower? And I'm like, you fucking don't! <laughs> you gotta- just gotta be okay with your ripeness! <laughs> go jump in a lake or something. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cute, but also depressing. Does this lead back to the beginning? Okay, I'm gonna go down there really quick. 
I always watch that one guy doing camping stuff like cutting wood. Dude, that sounds therapeutic. I know one of my best friends, she's like, oh my god, I was like, what did you get for Christmas? And she's like, this camping light that cost like a hundred and something dollars. I was like, oh, that's a lot of money for a lamp. <laughs> it looks really cute though, but... Yeah, it's not too bad, yeah. I mean, I guess it depends when you get up there because I know Jordan and Aaron like to get up there a few days early. But that's usually to like grab a camping spot and you said that we're going... They might go to somewhere where it's like someone's land and that they have a lake and stuff so we don't even have to like fight people for camping spots. Oh yeah, Karina, I need to. I'm literally like the mosquito magnet. Like they're all gonna come after me. Our friend has um... They have like a big tent, uh, like yeah, like it's like a net or whatever. So you can put chairs and like tables and underneath and stuff. You just have to make sure every time you exit and enter, you're not like leaving the little flap open for all the mosquitoes to get in. Yeah, otherwise I'll be eaten alive, so. You stop smoking right. Should uh, totally smoke with me when I'm there. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's trying to like cut back on it <laughs> at least. And it is relaxing. Well, getting bitten by mosquito bites is definitely not relaxing, but... Also, where the heck am I supposed to go? What's my quest? <laughs> Look for the missing supplies. Oh, whoops. Okay, we got ahead of ourselves. Can I teleport back down there? Closer. I think the only important thing is not getting wet and always stay dry. Yeah, I think the... What is what has been going around lately? Like brain eating amoebas or something in like bodies of water. Oh, there's a child here. Hello. Eric. So your blood's tasty. Yeah, dude, I like I mean, I'm better about it now, but I used to like just constantly eat sugary foods and sugary drinks and everything. I'm like better about it now, but I feel like at this point it's literal it's literally just sugar water flowing through my veins. And hi, Ashen! Just lurking today, yeah, no worries. No worries. Lurk away. If it wasn't for the ish, yeah, if it wasn't for the it should be nothing. We'll have to see. I don't smoke by then. I'll pull out with the old natural fun guy, yeah. <laughs> Looks at my case of Pepsi. I'm drinking a leftover, um, well, this is zero sugar monster energy. I mean, it's probably bad for you in other ways, like... It's got 15% of your daily sodium on here for whatever reason. <laughs> but uh yeah, Mountain Dew Blood, yeah. Baja hey, Blast Brad, specifically. How did you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? He's like, bro, I live here. Zila. Uh you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took I'm the, the king in yellow and now. All here. <laughs> Not bad, name. kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? No, he's like, I got a hole that I go through. Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Oh yeah, it's probably not just getting your teeth ripped out. <laughs> I'm a cognito huh? hazard. <laughs> then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? There's always a way. I said, can you share the materials? Don't They're to help so injured people. To him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. He's a kid. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. How are you Japanese voicers enjoying the English dub of this game? Uh, about that. It's not too bad. Tell us. What do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. <laughs> My ears. <laughs> 200. I don't want to I don't want to talk this all what? out. Uh, 200 shield. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Dude, this kid's learning young. How much is 200 shield worth? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. I don't even have money for your planet. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really... 
I have no strong opinions one way or the other. Oh well, a few people when they came in, they uh, they said they only play on Japanese, and I'm only doing it in English, so I don't have to read this all out on stream. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No. Zila, that's enough. Slap this kid. It's Eric, right? Here. What? He's a child. Let's just take What's the materials this? from him. <laughs> this is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. They'll instantly know how valuable valuable it is. See that it's a kid that brought it to them, and then undersell the fuck out of them. <laughs> What do you mean I have no Chinese with Russian game text? <laughs> Dude, that was oh my god. Promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? Yeah, extremely would. Child walking into a store with JPEG of a monkey. I, I promise. I'll never steal things again. It's like that meme where it's like you receive this and I receive this of that person like walking up to that like stand and like opening their hand. Then it's a deal. You get one shield. You go back on your promise. I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Oh my god, what is that emote? Oh, it's. it's oh, Jesus. Thank you. That's cursed. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Yeah, bro. I've already been all the way up Got there. Got it. Thanks for the tip. I'll take it for that three fifty. was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a know. small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. <laughs> Sounds like you must it into NFTs. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. She's basically saying, be a nice person Eric and maybe they will be a nice person too. To go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Girl, I've already been all the way up there. Actually, I might even have a teleport up there. But, um, what is our thing? Is it just to get to the top? Oh, never mind. Right here. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe it's almost there. Oops, I didn't I'm expect running too fast. We made it. Hmm. It's been so long. Can I go up here? This place hasn't changed one bit. Damn. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. Nope. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them. Are you I'm sure they're still have, usable? Oh, thank you, Bleak. Thank you. I'm trying. Do you think undergrounders care about expiration also, dates? Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have? Careful! Enemy behind you. Well, let's go. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. <gasps> this is Our behinds. You, he didn't ask for consent. Only we're the breaker of behinds. Person. Freeze! 
Well, I literally don't have like anything. Um. <laughs> Except for this one girl. Yeah. Try that again. Mm. Let's play for a while. <laughs> My turn. Let's make it quick. Oh, I don't have... oh. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Protect thy behinds, exactly. Um Zero points. Probably should have shared it something else. Like look how much damage he does, like what the fuck? <laughs> That's just on his follow-up attack. Your answers? Test. Zero points. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> well, it was three against one. I could have taken it on by myself. Bro, you sound out of breath. <laughs> still, fighting alongside you two. Was Imagine using fun. math to fight. Yeah, and it's great. He's a hunt character, right? They typically are the best single target damage. Okay. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Well, he's amazing. I love him. The kids yeah. at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, we we're the other daddy characters. I've I've heard a lot of the mommy character. <laughs> we're the daddy characters. Just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't, huh? This building, this playground equipment. I've seen it all before. Wait, is she not even Coquelia's or whatever her mom's actual, like, blood daughter? <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. I bet Matt deals extra emotional damage rate. Wait, I need to go look up Gallagher. HSR. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that his, like... His shirt is, like, not even closed. Yeah, who's this guy? Who is that? Hello? When do I meet him? Oh my goodness, I'm blushing. <laughs> the daddy character to I'm guessing they'll be back any moment now. We Wait. need them. Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on. I need <gasps> to look around better. a bit more before I can be sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, what the heck? They, she literally just dropped a bomb like, oh, I might be actually from this orphanage and all of us are like, hmm, cool. Seems legit. Like, what? Her whole life is gonna be like rocked What's upside up here? down. Some yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, my teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? Ew. <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm. How boorish. Correct. Ugh, the swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Gallagher's insane. He's a four star, so it'll be <sighs> easier to get. Ooh. It sure brings back memories. <gasps> so I could possibly I get him. I remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? You know, that's kind of sus that there's like a railing off a cliff right behind the swing. Like, what if you accidentally swung too far back and like... <laughs> At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? She's not wrong. We've but... looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah, yes, we found it. Great. It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? 
What is this? This is, this is something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? You came to this town? Um, could it be when you were a child? Dot dot dot. You fucking lived here? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. All right, away. okay, so she knows she's adopted. Before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architect. Yeah, kick your mom In out the of the future, seat then. <laughs> I will become she doesn't need to lead. She's possessed. Leads. Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. I'm drinking my energy drink. Mm. She must have done something to make you forget. I know it. I know it. No. Mother yeah, she would. would never do She's that possessed. There's no way she would. Architects said that the Guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. Kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. How Every do you know that, girl? Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> She's like, shut well, up with your fucking sob so story. Annoying. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You've been hiding your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Yeah, I was like, didn't she just say that, that to her? <laughs> well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be yeah, tough. Yeah, because you're a fucking princess. Me. No one wants to be with you it. angry. <laughs> Girl's like, Fuck I'm you. no good at <laughs> consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. 
Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be Hi, a Jill. good idea to put us together? I huh? hope your Monday's going well. How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. Maybe they were the ones fighting over that toy. <laughs> she just didn't remember. I should let those two be alone for a bit. Yeah, where am I gonna go? I should let those oh. two be The only thing left to find is... Where could they be? Um, does it not tell me? Search for supplies around the orphanage, okay. Unless it just means like back down here maybe. Who the fuck is Perkins? Don't. What? Oh shit! It's the girl Warning. again. Warning! Danger detected. Um, I mean Protect no harm. Clara, initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't stop! I've seen this person before. She, she's not bad, right? Wait. Did you miss what, Jet? Also, hello. Also, this girl's voice reminds me of, like, uh, the girl that gave me the uh, VGen code um, to get on VGen. Sounds like exactly like her. Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Um, I'm looking for medicine to help the injured. Oh, announcement. Oh, oh that was literally I just what you just walked in on. <laughs> I'm too. I'm on Vigen now. My my friend Cigar gave me I was asking them through DMs. I'm like, "Hey, you're on uh Vigen. Like, how did you do that?" And she's like, cuz like, I mean, I eventually want to start opening commissions and stuff. And then she's like, "Oh, I have a code. Here you go." And I was like, "Oh, yay." <laughs> so, it's uh I do need to fiddle with my links on my Twitch or sorry, my Twitter and stuff. So, but yeah, you can you can find me. Wait, what? They do? Who are they? I'm looking it up right now. Oh, guy, Star Rail, Clara, English voice actor. Emily Sun. I'm going down a rabbit hole right now. Emily Sunnyville? Is that what their name is? Maybe? I don't know. They are a voice actress. Okay, they did say. Sorry, derailed to like go look at their stream. <laughs> oh my goodness, the stream that I opened was them playing the Clara, the character. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's fucking sick. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different. <sighs> if everyone could just get along. Things would be easier. I like her. Is she good? Mm. What kind of what kind of type is she? Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Hell yeah. Um Is Sparag here too? No. Mr. Sparag, he he's my family. I met Mr. Sparag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparag doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. Okay, so we just gotta change this girl's mind, and then we need her to manipulate <laughs> for us. I had to Google what Vigen. Yeah, it's basically like Fiverr, except like specifically for like artists and like commissions and stuff. And actually, it's probably better than Fiverr because Fiverr can just be littered with people who steal other people's work. So. Like, sometimes you, like, come across a Fiverr page and you're like, oh, that's totally a different artist that I've seen on Twitter with a different name. Like, this is totally stolen. But for VGen, you actually have to either, like, 
you actually have to like do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think you have to make a post with your artwork, have a specific hashtag on it, and then get a hundred likes on it in order to be accepted into VGen. Or if someone had already done that and they're verified, because there's like a different verification process once you get on, you have to like make a hundred dollars in the last month, have over 4.6 stars reviews, three, pe three different people need to review you, and you need to have 10 followers to become like verified. And then when you're verified, you get some codes to like give out to people, so. I know they love to get together when new banners. Oh, that's so cute, they do. Also, yeah, Jack, <laughs> gaslight, gatekeep, manipulate. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, Vigen, I will just like, like, I just like looking through it to see like what kind of art people are um, like doing. Yeah, because you can get more scam through Twitter and other sites for sure. And it's just easier to like, just look at an entire database of like art. You just scroll through, you can see like people's styles like right at a glance. So like, I don't know, maybe you're looking for a particular type of style for some art or whatever, and you can just easily see. And yeah, I am obsessed. I literally just like browse it when I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I'm all gonna offer yet, but um, I have like this tired Squidward emote. I should also, I should, I don't think I have it added. Maybe I'll add it as a follower emote. I think I'll add it as a follower emote. Actually, who else am I? How do I? Wait, why can't I search for other people's emotes? Oh, here we go. No, wait, what? Am I fucking dumb? Um... Okay, I can't find any, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also like if they have their own website. Yeah, and they just added like um like dms and stuff on vgen so like instead of going through like external like email twitter dms discord dms they now have their own like chat within their website so much easier to get a hold of people so but yeah uh yeah vgen's a lot of fun to look through <laughs> neo sells spongebob me yeah i'm going to i have a few it's like that freaking that that squidward like gif where his whole like face like deflates it's like that i use it like all the time <laughs> for like everything am i tired i use it am i high i use it am i just like over something i use it i think i'm gonna add it as a follower emote because why not i need to switch some around um okay why did he want to get involved in the incident in the mines, is what I'm going to ask. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yeah, because there's a possessed leader walking around listening to some Stellaron <laughs> here. Um, but the yes. underground is safer? At least according to Mr. Smarag's calculations, he says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Is Smarag a... is he a summon? Is he a character that you can pull? I say the fragmentum will swallow up all of the underground sooner or later. You know, I'm gonna talk I like know I know what's what going on here. I just landed on the planet Mr. literally Sparag. a day ago, two but days ago. No matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparrow won't change his mind. Oh my god, so he literally is like the Fate Stay Night Berserker Ilya girl or whatever. So <laughs> it's literally them. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparrow. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Oh my goodness! Waffles! Hello and thank you for the raid! Welcome raiders! Welcome, welcome! We're just, um, doing the main story of Honkai I've never played before, so this is all new to me. Also, we're listening to it in English, so I don't have to read it, so... <laughs> Suffer! <laughs> and yeah, kinda, yeah, he protects her in counterattacks, okay. Kinda reminds me, like, yeah, either of Elia and the Berserker in Fate's Day, or, like, what, Annie from League of Legends? I don't really, I don't play League of Legends either, but Annie has like the big bear or whatever she can summon, right? <laughs> or I guess like Overwatch, that one character, is her name Ash? I don't fucking remember, I haven't played Overwatch since like the first Overwatch. <laughs> 
new player, yeah, one of us. Don't worry, I've, I've already been rickrolled. Someone already did the honors of coming in here on a few streams ago to rickroll me. Timbers, yeah. Yeah, see, when I did play League, I would just pick characters that look cute to me, so. Clara. But yeah, what, what were you playing? Give you a little shout out. Shout out. Your name, Waffles for Chumps. <laughs> Wait, what? Waffles for chumps? Waffles are good though. You're Guess I'm a chump. Miss Dila from Wildfire. I came here to. You and Claire tell Zeely and Baronia what you just discussed. Playing some Honkai, hell yeah. Are you Why far are in it? The or have, do you play a lot? <laughs> if they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? She's got a robot. N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Okay, yeah, that's kind of like what I'm doing right now, too. Um, I'm doing just the main story on stream, but like I'll do side quests and stuff off stream, so. Waffles is a giga whale? <gasps> Are you? Oh my goodness. You mean Sparkle? You got bamboozled? Oh no. No. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. I got her in like 30 pulls. I did three 10 summons and I got her. And I'm happy with that. Oh, Ma Maui, what is that? Do I have that even Ms. unlocked? Zilla? Did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. Okay, you're still free to play. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? She'll never know. We'll just say half of them were looted. She won't mind. <gasps> Thank you for the ball, make it more difficult for us. She'll have, understand. How often she do you stream? Does. I'll have to come check it out later. Or when you're streaming next. Great. Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll She's got a robot. She way. made it here just fine, okay? <laughs> it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And Ooh. I have some more things I need to look for Yay. here first. She I doesn't have any shoes! She's using her bare ass feet! Her grippers are out! Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I just, yeah, I started the main story and I'm like, oh, well, I feel kind of bad if I like continued it off stream. And then when I streamed again, it's like, where the fuck we at in the story? So I was like, I'll just, I'll just do it all on stream. Also, hi, Cookster. Hello, hello. How are you? Are you doing good? I know Claire needs to go to Foot Logger, right? <laughs> okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we going? Actually, what's on my little telephone? Oh. <gasps> Wait, what did I get? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was, but... Uh, wait. What's this Maui person? Who's this guy? Jing. Oh, I only have these ones. I don't know who anyone is. Oh, he's one of your viewers. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm so, I don't know. Oh my god. Sorry. I had a brain fart. Okay, sorry. Who were you pulling for then? Sparkle? <laughs> She's so cute. Maui, yeah, let's get him in here. Get him in here. <laughs> make him make him a summon. Oh my god, okay. I'm glad I'm a VTuber because my face is like a fucking tomato right now. It is a goddamn tomato. <laughs> what am I supposed to meet up with Zila and the others? Are they not like right fucking Metal here? plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol. A cute tomato. Killers. Wait, I do have a. Great, that's everything. There we go. <laughs> Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. No, it won't. So I'm gonna fucking teleport. Oh, actually, what is this?
We did it. To rot or burn, okay. V and easy clap. One of my nicknames is tomato. I'm just I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh my god. I would have never until Waffles said something off. Damn, how many times have you tried pulling for her, Waffles? <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Here you go. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, expired rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Just kidding. 80. Oh my it's god. Just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? No way you're telling me she memorized exactly how many fucking painkillers that she had. Like what? How long ago have they been living here? Like, what? <laughs> he lost to Welt. Can we act? Oh, wait, Welt's that dude. That's Mr. Yang, right? That's his first name? Oof. Well, on the beginner banner, where you get, like, if you do, like, those 50 pulls and then you get someone at the end, I got... Wait, who didn't know who I got Arlen on something. I think I got Arlen on my first Sparkle banner, but I got uh, someone sucky on the beginner one. Um I'm I'm gonna be honest, we shared some. Claire, huh? If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind hearted girl. <laughs> you guys literally have the same I think you made like, the right motive. decision. <laughs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. She's like, get the fuck out. <laughs> I assume you three have more important Twinkie things to get sword on with, right? Oleg will be waiting. Wait, I'll Not show you my peeps in a moment games. after we get out of this convo. Um, um, so you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. Girl, what do you mean? You literally took me for a walk. We met these two, and then we decided to fuck <laughs> off. Okay, none of us went back to say anything. You're to adorable, them. Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Literally her job. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Wait, we got her. <gasps> She's mine? <gasps> what? They gave me her? <gasps> She's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh, yes. Twinkie sore boy. Yeah, we got... Okay, wait. So, okay, we got Dr. Ratio from the male. The main character. We got Sparkle. This character you just get. This dude you just get. We got this guy. Yeah. From... From the uh, from the banner, and we also have yeah. Now we have her, and we have Asta, and we have uh, QQ, and Serval. I oh thank God I need a healer. Free Natasha Pog, right? I need a healer. Like I'm sorry. Like I like March, but I don't know. I'd rather have a healer than someone who does preventative damage. I don't know, that's just me. What is she anyways? How many how many stars do you tell people are? She's a are they just both four star? Purple is four star. Like who the fuck are you, dude? Like what do you do? <laughs> don't call me No, I actually do love her. I actually do love her. She's very cute. I also love her bedroom on the um on the train. It looks really cute. Okay, where are we going? Oleg. Huh? Tired already? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. The secret meeting. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. 
My record is six days no shut eye. I didn't even know you could go back here. <laughs> oh wait, never mind, I did. Uh, hey, they're finally back. Wait, is there only four stars and five stars? Don't worry, I'm completely unscathed. No, sorry for the unannounced <laughs> disappearance. That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that's something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding that's the so weird. <laughs> predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. I'm still curious how uh, Sampo like gets from the above ground to the below ground if they said they blocked it all off. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. <gasps> no! How old is your phone? Hmm. Um... I say we find a way to bring him to our side. He wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. What did Jet say earlier? Uh, uh, gaslight manipulating, <laughs> whatever. That's what we're gonna do. Four years. Oh yeah, you're due for a new one. Have you tried cleaning the contacts? I have like ten contacts on my phone. It's like. We should make preparations for both approaches. <laughs> of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. Yeah, guess like gatekeep manipulate. <laughs> at our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. Not things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Sparrow. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. Oh, what kind of phone is it? That would be best. I was on a Samsung Galaxy S7, and then my uh, friend, like when I got started into VTubing, she's like, Oh, she's like, I have like an old iPhone and iPhone has like the best facial tracking or something. So she's like, you can just have it. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I just had to play like the customs um, and shipping to get to Canada. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. It's an Android. Yeah, that's what I've used like my entire life until this iPhone that I have now. You understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly. But my old Android was, yeah, it was, like, so slow. Like, I could barely type on it. Like, you'd start typing, and it would just freeze up, and you'd have to wait, like, a minute or so. Ooh. Do it. And what about you, Getting new phones is so fun. You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, Oleg, she just found out she was part of the underground, the so. The underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. Fuck, I, need, I think I have a 12. Uh, a 12 row, I think? I'm buying it now, oh my goodness. <laughs> Go! An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged... <laughs> What will Wildfire be doing? Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. 
Mm. I'm on it, boss. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, it's Sam. Oh, Neo to my hero, I finally got a hold of you. You must save me. And if I don't... Why am I mean to this guy? He saved us. I think he's I think he's cool. <laughs> he's funny. Please reply soon. I'm begging you. It's life and death. When you have a second, meet me at the Great Mine, my valuable patron. Every second matters. My life is in your hands now, friend. Oh, who's... Oh, hello, hello. Anyone? How do I use a send all? What's that supposed to mean? Um... See, like, what are these options? Like, they're so mean. Who are you again? Allow me to give you a tutorial on, I don't even know what the rest of this is. And this is the money transfer function. Like, I'm trying to extort this kid. Like, what? No, I didn't want to say that. What? Someone actually replied? <laughs> are you a real person or a bot? Anyhow, listen, I'm Jillian, the chief intelligence officer of the moles. I need some extra help right now. If you're free, come find me at the entrance of the great mine. What the heck? It's just a kid. Look how many quests I have. Look at them all. Companion mission. Okay. We're gonna keep doing the main story. Um. No shot. I get star rail atoms on the Apple page. <laughs> Honestly, like, ever since I started talking about it more, whenever I'm on YouTube on my phone and stuff, I get, like, all Honkai Star Rail ads. Oh, it's you. Hey, Hook. Oh. Hook? You. This, I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. I felt like that was obvious. Oh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> you know... I think there's been <gasps> a misunderstanding. Back. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Ole. Content for days. I mean, all those side quests I'll probably do off stream. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you Playing in Japanese. a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Sparog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Hook looks like this VR chat avatar. Like, um. Uh, there's like a specific model, and it gives me that vibe. My specialties in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No. But I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Um... See, like, why are these all, like, where's the option where it's like, cool, lead the way, like, <laughs> I don't... Hmm. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. <laughs> My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of. Oh, enough. I don't know who Jeez, he reminds me of. You okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. He's giving me like Deadpool vibes. Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Well, turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Sparog's metal nose? No. Sparog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with probably no calculated home, it, not it's worse. actually a safe place to be. <laughs> If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. What's going on, people? <laughs> I 
kind of want to like get every achievement in this game too. I need to like read some because like holy fuck some shit is like so random. Oh, were you looking at that girl? Because I took it. Alright, Neo updated you in Discord camp and stuff. Oh, sick. Okay, I'm okay, excited. I'll this? look at it after stream. Open. Thank you for doing that. I was going to reach out to one of them to ask if... Uh, no one had got to it. I mean, I know it's the like quite a while away, but yeah, I need to start like going and buying camping gear because I don't have any. Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Uh, what about these clues of yours? Hmm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Why the colors so dark? Are they? <laughs> Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism to this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big actually, like, yourself, you need I don't use my phone like that much, honestly. Like I'm. <laughs> like, I'm not really a fan of, like, mobile games, like, on the phone. Like, I'll usually just get, like, blue stacks or whatever and then just play it on my PC. Um... Oh, on the, on the, on the, on the others, yeah. I'm basic, though. I like just black or just white, so... Even my fucking phone case right now is see-through. Like, it, <laughs> it doesn't even have a pattern. I have, like, some stickers underneath, like, to show. Uh, that's kind of my wallpaper. Uh, certification? <laughs> my, uh, my background for it. Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Besides the iPhone 14. What? So 14 or 13 have colors, but then on 15 they're like, nah, let's get rid of them. <laughs> this little lady finally got out of bed yet. <laughs> Welcome to the land of the living. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Mm, what's not the a best? clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the Hold still. You're nearly My design has been Hey, what are you talking about? Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. <laughs> Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. Beep boop. <laughs> Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Raft Tournament? Infernal Construction what? what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? I don't think this guy's ever been dependable. Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Um, we'll be back. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Oh, God. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock, repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Get down below. <laughs> okay. Launching stage. Who is the reigning? 
Correct certification result. Success. Requisite I guess I could have just talked to them all first, but yeah, that was fucking terrible. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> Even ow, though ow, that looks kind of cringe, yeah. <laughs> that guy's straight up fire, yo. Oh, I should have listened to the rest of it. Mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Wait, what was the next question? Oh, there's no more. Yo, yo, listen, listen up. Internal combo lighted the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision in the gray. You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Orders that keep him and home far apart. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackling flame. Dude, this guy's golden. In the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth, leaves a city behind. Raping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent, hears the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound of your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity. Damn, we got the new Eminem. I start to Here, what the Family what? lost to the snow. <laughs> Another bella bug night, the hate the last just can hide. Oh, and they're singing. Yeah. Her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by, yeah. Another bella bug night, I find the last game. I want to know what this yeah. is like in Japanese. Did they go this hard? <laughs> On his face, one last smile, a sign the sun always rises. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did it! Round of applause! Encore! That's 88 degrees of bedrock. <laughs> Is that emo? That's fucking great. I love that. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? Okay, what just give us the certification then. <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Here you yeah, go. Yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? You don't know yeah, the I need answer? to get one. That's lame. It's back to school for you. Um, don't be mean, lady. Oh, maybe these people. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating. I like how they're like right next Otherwise, to the person, like it's just the a robot. pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Okay, I felt like there was two conflicting things there. Yeah, yeah, what riddle me this? Like, it could be either one of these. Logic? Uh, uh, oh, I got I it, thank God. Do this again. Put your Ooh. hand out. What are you doing? I meant her. Give me your hand. Huh? Yeah, why is it March that gets the certification? Hey, me. <laughs> now get out of here and leave me in peace. <laughs> so rude. Rude asshole robot. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Here you go. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not in system restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing oh. combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Let's go. Zero 
See, okay, like sometimes, like, okay, so I'm gonna use it on her, but this means that even if I increase like his speed or whatever, he's still not gonna get past these other two. You have ten like they just seconds. have more speed than he does. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. Let's go. Oh, he had a learn how to let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. I think he's at 109 Why right now. Why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? Hi, Jay. Oh. At least that's the final step. Sorry, I just knocked over my fucking energy drink, but there was like a sip left, so it didn't go anywhere. Okay. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. And posture check, thank you. Um, yeah, let me check one second. The slapping sound whenever Sparkle kicks. <laughs> yeah, right. Whack. Um, yeah, his speed is 109 right now. Hers is 101, 100. But the only reason he's faster right now is because I have a relic, I think. Yeah, the wear speed increases by 6%. Um, so... Coffee. I want to stretch. I still haven't had tea today. Maybe I'll make some after stream because I'm yawning right now. Yeah, it's a. I need to get a better one. It's just a plug in. Um, but yeah, they're not like the greatest all the time. I need to find like a better plug in for it. I just wanted like something <laughs> in case people were watching with no See, audio. Not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll oh, commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? Okay, we're going. What's this? Never mind. A gate? Another one that we literally just got past one. It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? <laughs> Where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Svarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? It's fucking robot. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions well, from How the fuck Clara. do we find her? Is she not behind this Clara? big wall? Oh, the door? girl we saw in the great mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? She's Farag's family. family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core is bearing components is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? We were just there. Yeah, I'm going on a wild goose chase. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. 
Uh, we should go and find Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Oh, wait, it just teleported us. Sweet. <laughs> Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start oh. with Nat Stewart. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target must be in. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Where are we going? Oh. Damn it. I don't get any ambush. We feared. There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. And Dr. Ratio. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Need I teach someone a lesson? Let's play. Can you find the answer? Rules are made to be broken. She really no, like Dr. No, Ratio too. We love We love his uh... Look at that math! Look at that! He just fucked him up. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? I'll take a little screenshot of this. One moment. I need my thumbnails for my VODs. There we go. Get this child some shoes. You're exactly right, Sophie. What the fuck? Thanks, like, everyone. Did her Thanks feet fine. not hurt? Just a few scratches. She probably got like her calluses are like just so beefy on her feet that she doesn't need them anymore. Gal, hello, hello. Are you feeling better? Your COVID needs to go away. I'm gonna do a ritual and like pluck it from your body. <laughs> You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? And I'm ready for a cozy gal stream. There's a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. That also reminds me, I need to ask that person, uh, that artist, if she's done with our freaking art yet, because, like, I feel like it should have been done by now. <laughs> um, we were just about to pay him a visit. What do you need to see him for? I no, can you are going to give us verification, girl. How is me? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know if you saw on the Discord, but I, I got, I'm on VGen now. Cigar gave me a code, so I was like putting services on there and just have been like fiddling with that all day. So I'm hype. I'm hype. No, this time we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially wildfire. 
what was it? Gaslight, manipulate, and whatever. <laughs> Girl, you're getting us in here. <laughs> yeah, you basically either you either do it the hard way, where it's just like you post um, like a Twitter post of your art and like a hashtag that has to do with VGen. Um, and then you have to get like a hundred likes on it. And then if you do, then VGen has like potentially a chance to like give you an access code or whatever. And yeah, or if someone's already been verified on VGen, which is like, I don't know, it's kind of like Twitch. Like you just have to like hit a f um, some goals or whatever. But I guess Cigar had already done that. So she had some codes to give out. So she's just like, or they're just like, here, you can have, um, you can have a code to get on, uh, Gen, so I was like fucking sick. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Oh, we've changed girl boss to manipulate just because like this this little girl. Um, I guess there's this robot that like hates people and calculates like the best living conditions and like doesn't like this group named Wildfire. And the only human this robot likes is this little girl here. So I was like, hey, we need to like get win her over so she can get us in contact with this robot that doesn't like humans. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. We're here to help. I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarog's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? Yeah, tell I us. Mr. Svarog. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? Oh shit. According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can What's survive the disaster longer. though? Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? Mm. See it as returning the favor, Clara. We I'll saved definitely you. Definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. Take her hostage. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. Oh yes, That's hello no Trevor. Welcome. Um, so young and yet so I'm on um... No. Intelligent? It's this uh, website called uh, VGen, and it's like a, like an artist's like website where you can like commission like art, like people put up services for like overlays, emotes, like illustrations, like literally anything under the sun. And I, my fr uh, my friend, uh, they gave me a code to get on there and like start selling uh, my art and commissions and stuff. So I was like making my page or whatever earlier. <laughs> We're like fiddling around with it. She's incisive and determined. In yeah. sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? Make it looks money. Looks like we'll have to get past Clara <laughs> if we want to speak to Svar. For my art. Mm. If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. 
No, we didn't, Sophie. Uh, I was just gonna, like, watch them all on stream, like, next stream or something before, like, so playing Honkai. you think Sparog's logic has a hole in it? If people would be interested in watching no. them. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Um, the fee is 5%, but there was actually like a whole like Twitter, not drama going on about this, but like, I guess there was this one artist that posted and they're like, I love VGen and all, but like, this fee is like ridiculous. And they like posted how much they like spent in fees that like year. I don't know how long the period was. And I think the currency wasn't in Canadian or American. So I don't know how much the conversion was, but um, the one of the co-founders of VGen, like they didn't clap back, but they were like, yeah, but I mean, that 5% is to go towards the, you know, the website and making it like a good spot. I mean, even PayPal takes like a fee when you like sell goods and services and stuff. So um, it's not any different, but uh, VGen's like, you are more than welcome to like add that fee into your service as well. Like you can just like say up front to people like, hey, by the way, I include the 5% VGen fee in it as well. So yeah, it's not too much. I mean, like. Like, what's 5% of a $20 emote or something, you know? Um, and, I mean, so right now, Yozo, I'm, like, I'm still, like, trying to find, like, my style and stuff. Um, but uh, I will be adding, I'm not done adding all the services and stuff to VGen yet. Like, I could definitely draw, like, a PNG tuber. Like, that's literally, like, what, a closed mouth and an open mouth. Um, it just, uh, I haven't looked into, like, reactive PNG tubers and stuff yet, because I don't do a lot of, I, I don't do any animating. I did animating one time for one emote that my friend wanted, and that was the extent of it, so. Like, uh, right now I'm still, like, experimenting and stuff, so I'm only, like, selling things that I'm, like, for sure, like, that I can do good work and be proud of, so. Um... We need him to recognize our value. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. And I think that 5% is if you use VGen's thing too. Like right now, I just have my PayPal hooked up because I can't use the VGen like payment system um, until I get verified. And to get verified, I need to have 10 followers. Um, I have to make a, at least $100 in the last 30 days. I have to have three different reviews um, from like different people. Like you can't commission me like three times and then like do a review, like that only counts as once. And then I have to have like an average rating of 4.6 stars or higher or something like that. I want your tired emote for sure. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna open it soon. I'm gonna work on it uh, this week sometime. So I hopefully I can get it opened. Um, but yeah, the tired emote's fun, so. Also, yay, Trevor! Watch streak! Hell yeah! You don't need a reactive one, just a PNG. Yeah, I can definitely, like, do art. I still need to upload more to, like, my portfolio. Um, some of the stuff I was uploading was just, uh, uh, drawings related to the services I was offering, so, yeah. It's got some work. Like I said, I only just unlocked it today, so I haven't, uh, and that was during work. It's like, I literally just ended my, like, I was just working all day, and then right after work, I started streaming, so. <laughs> Gotta support the homies. E, I'm excited. Yeah, like, even, like, the Trello page, I was, like, actually, I've been working on the Trello for a few days now, um, and I was excited about that, too. I love organizing things, so, yeah. Mm, but exciting. how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? Because, yeah, I usually draw in, like, a more, like, anime style, um, style. But that sketchy, like, punky icon one that's, like, sketchy doodly, I don't know. I had a lot of fun doing that <laughs> the, the other day for my friend, so I was like, oh, I would love to, like, kind of delve into this style a bit more. Like, it looks pretty sick. Or different, I should say. There's always a way. First, we have to convince Clara. 
I really want to grab whatever I this she is must be back on her here. Way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. Almost to gold rings? Oh, on killer? Wait, no! I wanted to grab that. Damn it. Wait, actually, what's down here? Oh, you guys are talking to me. Oh my god, everyone's sending me that one. Oh, I want to do the eating candy one. And then I'm going to... Oh my god, I love these. <laughs> Sorry, these are fun. There's the sound fire rip. I mean, like, rip to the survivors. Oh. So much exploring. Yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that I do, like, all the exploring and stuff off stream. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. Sampo probably knows where she went, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> No. Dude, if I walk up to it, will it sense me? <laughs> I'm asking questions. Answer me. Let's play for a while. Can you check their speed? Is that a thing? What are these numbers here? I don't even know what these numbers here are. 122. 100. How do I leave you the enemies? And they do not tell me anything. Okay. <laughs> My turn. Treasure. Oh, formidable foe. We're just gonna avoid that. Wait, 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 wait. For the theater of the mediocre. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed again. <laughs> I was ambushed. What? Your answers? No, I wasn't. Okay. Well, that was a rip. Test. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I can't I can't go any farther because uh <laughs> um Let's make it quick. Yeah. I can't go any farther because I haven't done the quest. Like I'm understanding that right, right? Like Just I'm not crazy. Calculations predicted. Like must complete trailblaze mission, not good with farewells, and I don't think I've done that yet. Because if I had done that, it wouldn't be locked, right? <laughs> like, I'm not crazy. Like, is this like the last quest of this Bellabog place or something? Yeah, that was a uh, very sad. <laughs> you guys all witnessed that taunt and then that not my proudest moment. Let me get this first girl. Well, shouldn't be a hindrance to the pursuit of truth. Yeah, like, am I stuck? At that trailblaze level oh my god i always i always think this person icon is like my like stats it's like the next quest okay oh fuck so literally anything i loot is just getting capped out right now like i can't or does it go over like i'm not losing out on any xp right like oh oh my god <laughs> you're not crazy why won't it It'll carry over. Okay. Whew, thank goodness. 
I was afraid that I'm just like looting all this shit and it's just capping out and I'm not getting any XP. I can't figure it out. And yeah, I'm loving the story right now. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. Sweet. You're the underground's you only keep hope. Saying that, but <laughs> are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? What? Some people just stack it and get it all in an instant? Yeah. What's the highest level again in this things game? Before, but 60, I never had to 70? repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparlog helping you? Yeah, he's a robot. He should know how to fix things. I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparlog finds out, oh, he'd he'll nuke get them. in big trouble. Um... Was it really an accident? You know, Clara, if you're Except too kind, Clara. people can take advantage of you. Ah. Oh, it's just been 70 right out, like, right since when the game has I think been I released. Found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. <laughs> I don't want to farm 80 we gates. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Get in there, March. For the theater of the mediocre. Oh, whoops. Whoops, I fat fingered that. My bad. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. <gasps> okay. Um An interest Whoa! It lit up! Thanks, guys! <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply... Clara, no. So I didn't mean to taunt her. Being... Is it, like, useful to use your, like, E, your skill ability, ability, like, outside of battle? I just literally run up and hit everything I see. It took you three weeks for one level? What? Yes. Holy shit, People on the outskirts don't need behind. to worry about heat or light now. Um. We're not trying to win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But. This Some characters have good ones, like Seal makes you invisible. Oh, okay. Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Um, point out the variable. The variable is uh, our arrival. No outsider set foot in the underground for over a decade. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. What do you mean? You got like the same getup as we do. Right. That's because we're not from here. Oh, We've so never the battle been can give enemies. Oh, calculations. Okay. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was a long time ago. What? The same this dude's never the recalculated anything? Off. What? Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Not even from no this planet. Calculations would have oh, she didn't. Variables <laughs> like us, you know? Different planet? Yeah. Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. Bruh, I came here on a train that flies through space, okay. 
In other worlds, people have already conquered the heavens. Well, the music's getting intense. Dun, dun. Hey, she and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I do not. What have I heard of it before? No. Yeah, this is like, um... Honestly, this is like the only game I'm playing right now. <laughs> Besides Dead by Daylight and, uh... Um... Final Fantasy XIV. I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Yeah, I actually, like, um, don't have a lot of, um, like, I don't play a lot of gotchas. Like, I'm, I'm pretty new to them in, like, the grand scheme of things. Like, I did play Genshin when it first came out for, like, a tiny bit, but yeah, I don't know. The story just, like, didn't really grab me, and then it, it just felt very overwhelming. Like... This game is kind of overwhelming and just like everything that it like throws at you, but like at least the world is kind of linear. Like you have like your maps and stuff like that, whereas like Genshin's like open world, right? Um, but yeah, either way, the story in Genshin like didn't really grab me in, so I was like, fuck that game. And then there was a game called Reverse 1999 that came out um, like what, a half a year ago or something? I don't know. It looks really cool. The art looked nice. Um, and I did like the turn-based um, like style of playing and you had like cards and stuff that you could like mix, like mash together to like level them up and stuff in combat. And I thought it was fun, but the story was like all over the place and the translation was like not good either. So like I'm already confused by the story and the translation doesn't help at all when it's like the sentences don't make sense and stuff. Like, the most recent event that they have going on, which was, like, another chapter of their main story got released, uh, just literally made no sense to me. Like, I read it, and it was going in one ear and out the other, or, like, through my eyeballs and just, like, disappeared. Like, my brain, like, could not compute what the fuck was going on. So, I was like, okay, I'm kind of, like, over this game. And then, um, yeah, uh, Zero in the chat and my friend Chrono were like, you should play Honkai Star Rail. Like, I know you didn't, well, my friend Chrono knew that... Genshin didn't grab me, but he's like, I know that didn't grab you. He's like, but the story in Honkai Star Rail is like actually good. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to uninstall Reverse 1999 for my PC and we're going to install Honkai instead. And here we are. And yes, we are still playing. I want to at least unlock um, the Equilibrium. So before I end stream, like I'll probably stream for like another hour and a half. Let them make Sparag. We do not give up. Not in this game. This game is actually fun. <laughs> For you, for him, there's no harm in trying, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you've already seen our ability. We will bring change to this world. Come on, what do we have to lose? I'll say we'll bring change to the world. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Sparrow's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do would it. Would you even be able to see until you've grown up, though? Like, when is this supposed to, like, end? Also, I'm gonna, like, recalibrate my head. Okay. I built my bronium happy. <laughs> For me, at least, Honka gave me time to settle into the mechanics and stuff while Genshin and its open world just felt way over my head. Yeah, like, Zero did, like, reach out to me and he's like, oh, how are you liking Honkai? And I'm like, okay, well, it's a bit overwhelming at the moment because, like, I don't really, I didn't really know what, like, the synthesizing was and stuff yet, but I'm getting used to it, so. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes and fighting, just like in the mine. <laughs> Yozo, you skipped 90% of the Genshin story without the cutscenes, I wouldn't even know what's happening. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Yeah, like for Honkai, like obviously we're going through the story and I'm letting like, you know, it play through and I'm reading all the text of the main story. But even the side quests, um, I still 
like the adventure quests and whatever I still read that when I'm playing offline so it's just like before I was like I want to read everything like every item I pick up I want to read it but you know what that was getting a bit taxing from the very like first two streams I was like this is a lot Everyone, to read I'll just read this in my own time if I want to Rania I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there well said it was nothing I just said what I truly felt yeah, because you know we're doing good work here. Let us in. I'm back, Timmy. Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I wonder I who names the robots. I feel like Sparrow would not name his robots because he's a robot. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Claire. Wait, and I just realized we're in the snow up here and she doesn't have shoes on. What the heck? Her she's gonna get frostbite. Uh if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. He's a robot, he doesn't have emotions. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. I think we got that. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, he's like literally right there on the other side of the gate. Like, I thought we would have to like go somewhere. <laughs> I'm back, Mr. Sparrow. I remember when you couldn't skip cutscenes in FF Online. There was that one realm room. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, they still don't like. Like MSQ roulette when you go in like to the Praetorium and like cast room and stuff, they still don't let you skip it. I don't understand how they have not added like like a button that you can press and like, you know, hold down like spacebar if you want to skip this cutscene and then if everyone holds down spacebar it just like skips it. Like how has that not been something that's implemented? Like I've definitely have that in different games. Like I think even Overwatch does that too, like for their I remember they had like a Halloween event or something and yeah, you could literally just hold down a button and everyone skips it, skips it. Like, why haven't they added that? <laughs> exactly. Still adding. Still I waiting. That the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. He's gonna be like threat destroy. I have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Uh, hey, he's Sam, very fashionable he's robot. To communicate. Quick, time to smooth talking. <gasps> to be fair, Shadowbringers was. Wait, did you play through Shadowbringers or just like through Stormblood and up until Shadowbringers? Because like Shadowbringers is like the best fucking expansion. It's my favorite expansion, Shadowbringers for sure. Endwalker was, it was good, but I don't think it was as good as Shadowbringers, but I also love Emmet Silk and I would die for Emmet Silk, so yeah. <laughs> Riz up the robot, yes. That's how we get in. Um, smooth talking, okay, okay, okay. Um, we're not interested in stoking conflict. We're here about the future of the underground to be on. To be or not to be, that is the question. I'm going to say we're here about the future of the underground. Okay, good. An inadequate pretext. They have a new expansion coming out. You um, have no right to represent the underworld John humanity. Trail. Hey, you lacking coolant because you're running hot Bitcoin. Point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember. We have to make them see that we're a variable in the calculation. Um, I feel like saying we're a variable doesn't look okay. good. Uh, do you know what one is? So I can explain to you that I am also Stellar. one. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized Heaven's targets. Heaven's Word and Shadowbringers. Yeah, same here. It goes, I think mine would be Shadowbringers, uh, Heaven's Ward, Endwalker, uh, Stormblood, and then A Realm Reborn. Um, A Realm Reborn kind of sucks. Oh my god, 
everything like after the main story of Endwalker is like so mid. <laughs> you are approaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown. Yeah, content drug over. I literally just log in, cap my tomes, um, get my weekly coins from like the raid and upgrade my gear. And oh wait, I'm also doing the island sanctuary, so you know I'm trying to get that one mount with like those two hundred island voucher things at the moment. And I'm gonna be if I keep going strong, I'll get him by May. So <laughs> I think I have like almost a hundred tickets right now. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Where do you fucking told you it and you like cut me off, bro? As expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Give me the dialogue option then. <laughs> uh, we want to bring this world's disaster to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Didn't I say reassess he would like reassess us and we'd become a threat? threat? Do we have to fight this guy? Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. <laughs> what are these options? Your powers of calculation suck. Wait, we're not like those others. Like, I don't want to offend him. We'll do the wait. We're not like those others. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. What the fuck? E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparok, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring automaton Sparok. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Okay, here's hoping I don't die. Literally, I have no one on my team that can break his shield. Okay. Oh. Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Okay. I literally do nothing. I might need to, like, change my team around. Let's play. Can you find the answer? Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. I don't know about getting red ranks with the. Why? What are you at? Rules are made to be broken. Okay, this might be doable if he only has. What's going on? Oh no. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Girl, I need All you. Of you. Stay focused. I'm right behind you. Silver one, almost gold. Oh wait, I thought you said you were gold already. Nat, uh, how did you? Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sempo's got your back. Okay, side note. Who approved of this guy's english dub like voice actor because it is not good Sambo. i knew you'd be involved somehow base breached armed wildfire personnel detected assessing all subjects are high risk individuals commencing complete annihilation no did it heal us okay i forgot it healed us okay. executing operation let's play can you find the answer Need I teach someone a lesson? A test. Zero points. 
knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Rules are made to be broken. I was hoping it would like freeze him again. Whoa. What is this? And the only person that can get through the defenses is the one that's fucking stuck. <laughs> Lurkin, yeah, no worries. Okay, um... I can break through this sometime. Your answers? Answer me. Free. Let's make it quick. Yes, Pekipi. No, I should be able to break through it with um. Okay, thank God. We still got this. We still got this. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah! Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Dude, his follow-up is just too good. I'm oh, sorry, I keep leaving the fucking mouse in the middle of the screen. Dude, he started this. But her tears, no. I can't look. Oh, she's too cute. What? Don't you... the fuck out of him, right? Leaning Tower of Pisa, let's go. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. I probably butchered Please that. Don't hurt him. Claire. Bruh. Wait, I kinda I'm gonna take another screenshot. Let's open up paint again. <laughs> Mr. Sparrow. Don't push yourself any further. No, now he's gonna recalculate and he's gonna be like, uh, they they can help us. Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish. That's so weird, though. Like, why does he only like Clara? To like, together. why her and no one else? Like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness, even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority. To outsiders. Oh shit. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So. So we did it? Yeah, we beat him into submission. Thanks to Clara, though. Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zelath. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, 
what's up? Nervous? No. But be honest, uh, Bernia wouldn't even be here if it weren't for like Sampo's fuck up. <laughs> like one of his like machines fucked up and he took all of us. Unless that was his intention all along. Maybe he knew what exactly what they did and he wanted to capture her too. The truth can be heartbreaking. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. We're all listening. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Half the Wizard of Oz. What? What did I achieve? Defeat the Tin Man and the Little Girl. And... Bam! In a single battle, trigger the follow-up attack effect from Dr. Erasure's talent, Cogito Igrosome, for four consecutive turns. Oh, I didn't realize they had, like, specific, um... ones. Okay, here I we have go. I finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Outsiders. Tell us. Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 1317. Take a sip of my water. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. Mm, this is cool. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand this supreme guardian. She, she sees further than you or I. Oh. This guy sounds like he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Can't even put out a sentence fast. <laughs> it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy. <laughs> Destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cash number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number 57614. This is. Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research Is this Kakolia? Is this the current, um... Madam Guardian, I've found one. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, 
What should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. So, the truth is clear now, right? <sighs> they were looking for a way to destroy someone alone. I didn't quite understand. Someone go over it again. <laughs> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokoli exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. This must be a lot Why? for you to take in. Why, mother? She's possessed. Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. It's kind of weird, like, none of the other people are here that are speaking. Is this a bug? Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Dun -dun -dun. They're all in your head. In your head! In your head! It's <laughs> all Hi, Natasha. Oh, I'm really Furnace close to you. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. <laughs> Maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Uh, your support came at the well, right moment. Thank you. You should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. Ditched us. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Wait, what? I thought Oleg was the leader. T Natasha's huh? the leader? Huh? What? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? March coming in clutch, saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Mm -hmm. See, like, what are these options? You're welcome. All in a day's work for a hero. And then we did it for us. It wasn't as selfless as you made out. And then any chance of more tangible show of things? Like, all these options suck. Like, why can't I just have your welcome without, like, the sass behind it? <laughs> when the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Mm. It'll be difficult for us to defeat of the Guardian alone. There's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila? Zila. <gasps> Didn't I guessed it. she tell you? In Bitch, private, you she it. insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. Oh, it seems still like the intel us. we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. With Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Unlikely friends. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Someone's literally been on their feet. 
Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. <gasps> Ooh, a light cone. Oh, and, and, and a thingy, and a thingy, and a thingy. Choice isn't as elusive oh as it goodness, may appear. I almost have all of them. I only need one more. I don't know if I should be using them on her, but I have been, so fight me. Um. No, wrong one. Just a quick. I got some shoes. Um, where are we going now? Oh, this is literally the quest that you guys were talking about. Not good with farewells. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Bless Sophie. Bless. Is, like, the main character the only, like... Um... The universe Wait, what? Should be in the air seems to heat up suddenly and a sticky wind grips onto your ankles, leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable. Equilibrium mutters a low, emotionless voice. Another whisper as echoed as if in symphony. The universe should be in equilibrium. Um... The talking? arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. Um, sure. equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. Okay, as your Trailblaze level goes up, you will need to complete Trials of Equilibrium to increase your Equilibrium level. The enemies will have stronger stats, but so will you, and of course, defeating them will drop more rewards. Okay. Ooh. Wait, so we already get to unlock it? Ooh. <gasps> do I go do it? Should we go- should we go do it? Or should I keep continuing on the main story? <laughs> I guess the other thing is, does it make the formidable foes in the, um... Um... Places here that I haven't fully explored yet, like Rivet Town, does it make them like ten times harder? Or should I defeat them while I'm kinda like... I mean, I guess I'm not like OP, but... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What do I do? Um... <sighs> well, now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. <gasps> Hello, we promised Hello. her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Um, I'm gonna say sorry I wasn't You've able to your persuade best. him. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And Meow. It was Svarov who attacked first. Hello, hello. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Um... Who is this Sampo character? 
Where, yeah, where exactly. is the Stellaron? <laughs> we don't even have the Stellaron's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Did we all watch the same video? The first fucking transmission we watched, the girl, the previous guardian even said they're in her head. <laughs> okay, actually, I've dreams. been having some dreams. Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Telling Don Hong and March 7 about the voices you heard in your recent dreams. Hmm. All three dreams were the same with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there is some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you're having them because... because I'm a Stellaron? The Stellaron Ooh. inside her? <laughs> Brr. That's my hunt. Oh, well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Bronia? Are you back? How did it go? Are you tired? How did Oleg treat you? Um, he was nice to us. Uh, that's true. Although Oleg usually looks quite serious, he takes good care of everyone. Well, you must be exhausted after running around the whole day. Take a rest in your room. I'll bring the food over when it's ready. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. We're all friends now that you're staying at the Girth Grand Hotel or whatever the fuck she called it when she voice acted it. Oh, I almost forgot. How do you find the bed and pillow? And what about the room temperature? Is the Geomirror furnace working fine? If you need anything, please let me know. Um... I filled out a service rating card. That's great. I didn't expect a busy bee like you'd have the time. Thanks a lot. Really. I'll take that. Then thanks loads. Your opinion is highly regarded and your feedback will definitely help improve the quality of our service in this boutique hotel. Oh yeah, go ahead and have these. And I won't take no for an answer. They're just a few small things that have been building up around here and I haven't been able to give them away. Hope to see you next time. Oh, okay. What do I do with these, by the way? Because there's like this fountain in the overworld that I came across and I threw one in and it gave me shit but do I just keep throwing stuff in? I didn't know if I like needed it at any point in time like in the future or if there were like more fountains or something the little idols or whatever also I want to eat the food here again sorry one second he said come back tomorrow for another championship let me eat it I don't know if you if this is something you can win, but I did it yesterday and I failed, so. Call me the stinging crab. Take the first bite, take the second bite, take the third bite, take the fourth bite, take the final bite. Did I win? Oh, wait, did I do it? Oh my goodness. The stall owners pray to you, but you don't have the mental space to take in. All you can think about is one thing. Don't do it, girl. Oh my god, I barfed yesterday too. I won. That's right. Oh, I won though. Okay, hell yeah. That was it. Some diet fried rice and some shields. <laughs> okay. Obtain the recipe for fried rice from talking to Gertie. Oh, sweet. Um, that should be in my, like, synthesized screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, let's go back down there. Uh, wait. Can you read something for me? Can you go on the database, databank factions and read the yellow part on the map? I already did that. You can't- you can't get me. You can't get me. We already did that. I already got Rick rolled last stream. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, someone came in specifically to my stream for that reason, just to like point that out. And I was like, damn. <laughs> and they were just like, my work here is done. Goodbye. And then they just Welcome left. <laughs> to the Gerta Grand Hotel. 
Gerda, that's what she called it. I just made a pot of mushroom soup. Take a break first and come try it later. Uh, I would like You're to rest. Back. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. I honestly should go back and clip that. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. I suppose I should get some sleep. Well, chat, I tried. <laughs> Can't pull a fast one on us. Can't fool me twice. The wave of tiredness comes over you, reminding you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Oh shit, Yozo! Kips, thank you for the gifts up to Yozo. What the heck? Over there. Uh, See that? That used to be the worst. Thank you, thank you. Town. And it's also where I grew up. Welcome, welcome. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg caught me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of ten, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local <laughs> folks. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? I believe there's a store around here too that gives rewards like standard tickets and jades from Brian. Yeah, I've been getting like some currency and like every time I open my map, it's like, you should go here and spend the currency. So I was trying to buy like all the like big stuff first. That's actually how I got one of the, or two of the destruction little um, Eidolon things for the main character. Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. <sighs> You're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. Don't tell her you don't she doesn't know she's gonna blow up no, at you. I can't. Oh, she didn't. But more importantly, this is exactly what I was thinking, Zila. I was gonna say, where's the foul language? Give it to us. In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's it. it. Oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you this go back. This is so cute, guys. Look at them. Yes, <laughs> let her, Sophie. No. Let her. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze I mean, and the especially fragment. if this girl is like set to be the next leader. I mean, she's already like getting good rapport with the underworld <laughs> or underground. I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um... What are you going she to blushing? do next? She just blushed. She what just blushed. What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but as long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does 
my mother hide it from me? And why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. Because she's possessed. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard. I must face my problems head on. Even if... <sighs> Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, what does she give I understand. Her? You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter wow, what. Wow, they became like friends so fast. And I'll be waiting. Was this for romance you. blossoming? <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Look at them. They're so cute together. <sighs> that was a good sleep. There's my crew. Hello. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? Mm, no. So that's why you slept for so long. Well then. Yeah, sue me for Let's catching up on my sleep. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move. And see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! Is the equilibrium thing hard? Should I go try it? Is it does it take long? Uh I don't know what I want to do. I wanna do all the things. I wanna do all the things. It's pretty easy. Oh, okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it after this little cutscene. It's scene. the Farag, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to Dude, this... Dude, he looks like a Pokemon <sighs> gym leader. Instead, Oleg. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way... Sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> um. Doesn't matter anyway, whatever. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the <gasps> overworld. Is safe. there? I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to... Wait, is it like an event that comes and goes? Or like, it, there, it's actually like somewhere out that I can... Like it's a permanent thing. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time. Oh my god, literally, right? March reads my mind. Like everything that I think in my head, she says, like right after. <laughs> I was like in my head. I was like, hopefully not unconscious this time. I was permanent. Okay, of course I'll have to not. This look time around. we'll go back through the furnace core. And why do we need you? Well, for my sparkling <gasps> Ooh, companionship, of course. <laughs> I just, I just. The path has been blocked for over ten years, and very few know how to get through. That's where I come in. Ugh. Enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, 
She has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. And she didn't need an escort? What? What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Um, I'm gonna say she also has her own plan. Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. Granya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. God, okay. Uh, Nyoto, March, and Don Hong. Uh, by the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you of my plan. I was afraid that you would strongly object, which is uh, which might sway my resolve. Madame Kakolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and his people. Even though she has lately uh, made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also as my duty as a sil silver main guard. But I'm aware of the risks I might face on this journey, so if I fail to win my mother's approval, or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to the Landau siblings and ask for their help. Serval and Japard are honorable people and with enormous with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I'm sure they will undeservedly help you in your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. Bronya ran. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Japard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Serval! So she's Japard's older sister. Hmm, I'm gonna say... What the heck? Maybe the sister refers to Japard. What the heck? I'm gonna say I hope nothing she happens to her. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that supreme guardian's head... Even Branya might have trouble understanding. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. <laughs> uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. <gasps> we did it. Okay, clearing collapses and experiencing the simulated universe and other game modes raise your trailblaze level. Once your trailblaze level is high enough, the equilibrium trial will come unlocked. You can complete the trial to raise your equilibrium level. Uh... Oh, I can't even go ahead until I finish it. Okay. Uh, reports from the Curio Collection Squad on the front line state that a type of Curio called a Xenohydro has been uh, spotted in the space station. Uh, Mingde hereby issues a wanted notice to all Herder researchers and partners. If you have information regarding Xenohydro, please immediately come forward and report it to the reception hall. A sizable bounty is an offer. Uh, what's a Xenohydro? <laughs> A massive influx of information is coming in all at once, and yet not even a single relevant clue has been found to lead to anything. Patience, everyone. Listen to me. Carry on with your search and go to the reception hall if you have anything to discuss. Okay. Oh my god, I have so many. Okay. Um... Here we go. Okay. Well, they're level 30, so here we go, I guess. I can't get anyone to help, right? Okay. We're going in. Okay. Should I use, like, a consumable or something here? Um... This is the status bar, okay. Click and hold activate or auto use for the current suit. Consumables and I will automatically use at the start of each battle, okay. Okay, do I want a defensive one too? I guess it can't hurt, right? Oh. 
I hope they're on auto use. We need a strategy. Okay. Need I teach someone a lesson? I'll go easy this time. Mm. Tough luck running into me. Should probably take out the guys on this side, honestly. Gotta try hard some watch this awesome move. Really, he had like a sliver of life left. Let's play. Can you find the answer? Let's go. My turn. I kind of want to shield someone. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Oh. Your answers? SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Damn, she was frozen. Um, ba, ba, ba. I actually might be able to kill this next time before he gets another attack. <laughs> I'm asking questions. Okay, that's one down. Is there like a heal anywhere? Story in your own way. Or no? Because I'm definitely not winning with the health I have right now. Okay. Okay, how do I know what I need to like consume health? Okay, what can I eat that would like which of these can I eat right now that will give me health? Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna use them all. Okay, and then maybe let's do another one of these. I'll do auto use because I accidentally didn't activate it, so. I don't even think we used it in that battle, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's get Mr. Rishio. You learn to know yourself. Need I teach someone a lesson? Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Oh, this guy's gonna be way easier than the other guy. Answer me. Let's make it quick. Huh. I'll go easy this time. Mm. <laughs> Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Your answers? Go. Let's play for a while. My turn. Answer me. Free. This is our chance. Equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured. The trial of the equilibrium. And everything will find returns to normal. That was pretty fucking easy. <laughs> you guys were not wrong. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh. It's Calyx again, but it seems to be slightly different from what I've seen before. I'd better send a message to Mr. Yang then. Uh, found another new Calyx mutation. Yes, remember, I mentioned that there are many different kinds of calyxes and the reality data stored in them may vary. Remember to be thoroughly prepared before you make physical contact with them. It's not going to be worth it if you get yourself hurt out of avarice. Oh, defeat enemies to obtain trace materials. Okay, get me away from these guys. Oh my god, I don't even know what tracing is! Well, I haven't even done everything yet today. And then, oh my god, we have so many little things. <gasps> Why is there so many? Okay. Hello, Nyota. Do you have some time? I still haven't thanked you for helping me when we first met. Uh, you're too polite. It was nothing. I wouldn't have lasted much longer if you hadn't found me. Thank you for finding me in the monitoring room and taking me somewhere safe. Do you have time to come to the base zone? I have a gift I want to give you. I'll be right over. Trace materials are for your Charizard abilities. Okay, okay. I'll wait for you. Okay, and then Pom Pom. Anyone there? Anyone there? Hello? Nope. Something doesn't feel right on the express. I Like, there's something I can't see. Come back and see me when you have time. Stay calm. I'm coming back. Come back in this instant. If we don't solve this, the express won't be moving an inch. We aren't even moving an inch because we're stuck on this planet until we figure this shit out. <laughs> okay, Nyota, can you receive this message? March 7th gave me this little thing and taught me how to use it. Well, it seems like you can teach an old dog new tricks after all. It just takes time. I kind of want to know. I kind of know how it works by now. Nice to have something that, that lets me talk to people without meeting them face to face. What is it, chief? Haha. <laughs> Even you have started me call calling me that. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. I heard Natasha is seeing a lot of patients and hasn't slept for days. She has the backbone of the underworld and we can't afford to have her burned out. Nyota, I know you did a great favor for her recently, but can I ask you to check on her again? Just to make sure she's alright? No problem. I'll go right away. Where are these nice options when I'm talking to people face to face? Haha, uh -huh, I know I could count on you the first time we met. I was not wrong after all. Thank you so much. Okay, what is this? Madam heard his Herator Club. I knew she was dodgy. Wait, what is this? You already know FaceTime me to- what? Explain, explain. Think long and hard about it. With the space station this large, how much profit can one squeeze out of it? This is not something to joke about. She's- she's Madame Herta student. What about it? So we're not allowed to talk about her just because she's Herta student? Licenseless space driving. She- there's a lot of juicy stuff about her. Explain. It's a bit inconvenient right now. Inconvenient my foot. What- what group chat is this? <laughs> Check out the group name yourself. Take ultimate to the face. Stop interrupting. Spill it. Now forget it. What the heck is this? <laughs> Stop baiting us. This is an anonymous chat room, so no need to beat around the bush. Just spill it already. It's not like you guys don't already know. Get to the point. You know, that whole embezzling thing. Did you see the huge piles of parcels at the reception hall? All of them are addressed to the, our young lead researcher. Goodness gracious, so this is where all the money has gone this whole time. No wonder the budget's been so tight. Just hold your horses. Let's not just throw accusations around yet. We can't rely on your words. Where's the evidence? Evidence? Did you see the huge piles of parcels at the reception hall? All of them are addressed to our young lead researchers. Uh, and she bought them in her own name? How else? If she bought them under the space station's name, she'd have to declare it on the record. Surely our lead researcher is not that careless. Maybe she paid for them herself. Other than Madame Herta, who on the earth can afford those things with their money? You guys know that Arlen from the security department? I saw him acting all weird and suspicious at the front desk. If he, if it weren't for the guilty look on his face, I would have never noticed. Hmm, since you brought it up, I might have also seen Arlen acting weird when receiving some packages. I told you so. Now it all adds up. Now it all adds up. A mere speculation without concrete. <laughs> Or, th that's just all in your head. There's no solid evidence. Believe what you want. LOL, come on. No way. I'm no way of spinning this one. It's practically an open secret that Arlen was a crony bought in by that little Astra, Astra girl. Uh, tsk, I was waiting a good. I was waiting a good part of the day for some juicy gossip. Is that it? Exactly. When it's all said and done, there is still isn't any hard proof. But you just said yourself that Arlen was acting suspicious. That's all I said. 
I'm actually covertly investigating the source of her assets, but it isn't the time to reveal everything. Just wait, within days there will be a major story in the space station. That better be the case. Oh my god, that was a lot. Red ones for trace mats and gold ones for credits. Okay. Oh my god, there's another one. I met a mysterious big fellow and I ran for my life. What? That's like a vending machine. What? No, wait, there's two people there. I was just developing the photo of our research group from a few days ago. Everyone come have a look. I think there's some- I think something's in this photo. I was maintaining a lab experiment. Oh, you can look at it. Oh, is it this big, like, massive, like, black thing? <laughs> Blob? I was maintaining lab equipment uh, routinely a few nights ago, but I walked in on- Oh, they're cute! Okay, outsider, I finally got your contact. I have something to tell you. Boss Scott has been talking every day about how we need to try some business models. He's quite worked up about this. If you have the time, can you chat with him? I'm telling you, you can make a ton of money. Sure. Ah, nice. I knew you were the right person to ask. Anyway, I'll go talk to Boss Scott when you have time. I guarantee it's going to be a good deal for you. Don't forget to patronize the club when you make your fortune. Oh my gosh, that was so much reading. Okay, what do we have next? We have like 30... <laughs> Holy fuck, I have so many quests to do now. When am I gonna do all these? What the hell? <gasps> oh, what is this? Click here to switch to the conventional memoir page. You will encounter different kinds of gameplay as you explore. These gameplays will be recorded in the conventional memoir for faster review and access. What the fuck? Oh my god, look at all these things. What the the... Or are these all the events you were like talking about that you can like go back and redo? Oh my goodness, there's like so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you thought the voice setting the voice acting English would save you from reading, from reading a lot. Okay, I knew I was still gonna be reading, but that's why I was like, I don't want to read all that side stuff and <laughs> the cutscenes. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many. I have to sneeze. How many equilibrium levels are there? <laughs> Sorry. That. Okay. And a male? Oh my goodness, what is this? What are these? Can substitute path materials. Okay. I don't know why these are all stark. Posture check, thank you. Six levels, okay. Bless you, thank you. Oh my god, okay. We did it. Oh, there's something to collect right here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to collect this. And now... Okay, wait. Yeah, where... Okay, wait. Let me see here. I can eventually, like, buy all the stuff from this it's vendor, right? Like where to now? What do you want? Recently, a videotape was reported to have been stolen, but the elderly researcher from the Department of Insight who is in charge of it is a bit stubborn. She insists that the footage contains sensitive material and refuses to let the security department get involved to conduct any inv investigation. He left a good impression on the old heads of the department and have quite a positive re reputation among the elderly here. If you go to investigate, I'm sure the seniors will cooperate. I just helped an old lady dye her hair brown or blue the uh, yesterday, so... Sure. Caring for the elderly and the young is my passion. <laughs> nice. I knew I could count on you. The old lady's name is Esther. It was Esther! That's who I helped! You can find her in the zone, in the master control zone. I'm right, uh, I'm right now busy taming this wubaboo at the moment, so talk to you later. I won't go until you reply. Never mind, apparently I am leaving. Those you can use to level up chars, um, and use them for trace upgrades. Okay, but I would... Keep him. Only way to get him is from the battle pass. Okay. Only herterium are accepted for pay. What have you got for sale? Yeah, so this thing, like. Oh, I can't even buy anything. Yeah, I just like bought like the first things. <laughs> like I've just been going down the list. Um, why did it tell me to come here if there was like nothing to buy? What is the other one? This one. It's getting late. 
Where to now? Ooh, should I buy like... Oh, I'm 20 short. Kind of want this armor. I'm gonna buy them. I hope that was okay. Um, and then where is the quest? So strange. Seems like Asta and Arlen are in trouble. Oh, good. You're. Uh, where's the strange Papa thing you were talking know, about? But it's in the express. No one knows Akivili's express <gasps> better than Pom Pom. Oh shit. There's something strange in here. Pom Pom can feel it. I'll Help go back there in a second. Look for it. We have to find it. Okay, we well first I it. want reward. So thank you. <laughs> Okay, going back there really quick. That was Boulder Town. It's getting late. Where to now? Yay! Oh my god, so many. <gasps> That's cute. Oh my god, you weren't joking. What the heck? Damn it. I want these boots. And we're gonna go oh back over here. Okay. Well thank you. I mean I probably would have noticed that at some point when I went back with more currency. So thank well, you. Well my friends, are you ready to head out? Let's Wonderful. go. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Got one sip left of menu shrimp. Mother. I have returned. Rania, I thought... I thought I'd lost you. Oh, we have the same earrings. Where or were they you? Do. Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, is... report everything you saw, Commander Branya. Wow, that was a whole change of like. After the failed pursuit <laughs> at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders Tone. and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. <laughs> I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years, and those outsiders may be the... Get up! <gasps> Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Yeah. Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time, 
This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. I know, right, Sophie? Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? <sighs> I see. She has no nose. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. Oh the no, she's gonna become possessed as well. Dying world. Ah, we're finally back. <sighs> I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. Dude, that is so cute. Um, num, num, num. <laughs> I was say, what flavor is it? <sighs> Freedom. <sighs> the cold. <sighs> That's the best when you Maybe breathe in cold. nice cold Actually, air. Let's go. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Gerta Hotel again. Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Mm. A friend in need is a friend indeed. A Let's find him out. This. If you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top Silvermane guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Yeah, at least Serval's just like working at this shop right over here. And the good thing is we probably get a five-star version of Mark. Oh? Makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We. We've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. Probably. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Okay. Yeah. This fountain. Should I keep throwing or like fishing treasure out of it? With like this stuff? Like is this where I use these things? Is this the only place that I can use them at? I did it one time but yeah like I said I didn't know if I should like keep throwing stuff in it for like free shit or like what. Yeah, what is it? In the ground? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What is it for? What is it for? So... around um wait i didn't know you can interact yeah there's like an achievement or something like at first i did the other options which was like toss a coin in there or whatever 
and then yeah if you say take the treasure from it like you have to like submit these or whatever yeah i recycled one of them and you get stuff from it i guess but i don't know if there's like more places to get stuff or if like oh yeah oh yeah i went and looked at every single trash can in the city <laughs> like actually i've like sifted through all of them i got that achievement where it's like you found all the good shit from the trash cans. I was like, oh my goodness. And it didn't stop me. I kept looking at it in all of them. But yes, I've I've looked in every trash can in this whole place. Except over behind this locked gate over here. Because I don't think I can go in there yet. By the way, if you look around, you find some goofy one. Oh yeah, yeah, I took two of them down or something. Do you get an achievement for that? I'm trying to get through here. It's like a locked gate. Let me through. Oh, how many of them are there? Wait, maybe let's go have a look real quick and try and find them. Because I'm probably going to stop there for streaming because I have only had not a lot to eat today. I've had like two leftover temp shrimp tempura, a miso soup, some almonds, and a cheese string. Oh, another mailbox. Okay, where are these wanted posters? They would be on walls, right? It's probably like four, right? Oh, I just ran past one, where? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Was it down here? I ha I had I had gotten one from over here somewhere. Okay, where did I just look that you guys would have said that? Okay, I don't see anything over here. <laughs> I like how it's canon that goofy ones are drawn- are they drawn by Jabard? Right next to the big stairs. These big stairs? I don't see a goofy one. Oh. Oops. Or did you mean these stairs? Oh my god, how did you guys see this and not where I did? Let me back the fuck up. Okay. Oh. Right here. Wait, why did she get drawn so pretty? Look at her! She's like fucking Sailor Moon! What the heck? The woman in the poster is smiling at the flower holding a camera. She looks at you affectionately or possibly at somewhere behind you. Honestly, it's hard to take this beautiful portrait before you. It looks exactly like her, yet yeah, indifferent in every sense. If you twisted my arm, perhaps it'll, it's a little less joyful. Okay. How many of them are there? I've taken down three, I, I think. Oh, here's one. Oh my god, is this supposed to be Don Hong? Dude, the Sampos looked so stupid from what I remember yesterday. <laughs> cool dragon young, yup. Oh, okay. Who else am I missing? And where would they be? I think there might be some walls over here. You know what? I'm looking, I'm scanning. I thought they were all like really badly drawn. That's kind of like what I was looking out for. I didn't know that there was like a few like really nice ones. I think there's one Come more. Around. Okay, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. I'm looking, my eagle eyes are looking. Oh wait, I see it, I see it. Wait, who's this supposed to be? Got on the poster booth since here. Okay.
Oh my goodness, how many of them are there? What the heck? It's on a billboard. Okay, a billboard. I don't even know where a billboard would be. Oh wait, there's more over here. Oh wait, here we go. Wait, so I have to find the ugly ones and the nice ones? Oh my god, why is there so many? Oh my god. <laughs> Just getting run over over here. Oh, here's one, here's one. Oh, it's me. <laughs> I look beautiful. Yes, it looks like the last one. You count seven, okay. Yay! Wait, did I get a did I get a poster or a thingy? so great what the actual look okay i am going to call it quits there though um let me go over to just chatting maybe some little music while i find out who i'm gonna raid yes that was so much fun oh, i have so many quests to do i mean i'm gonna go eat have a shower Maybe, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, I need to wine. I definitely need food. That is what I need right now. I've been up since like seven in the morning and yeah, I've had a cheese string, two shrimp temperas, a bowl of miso soup, and some bit of a, some bit of <laughs> energy drink. I don't know how I was, I'm alive right now, but you know, yeah, thank you guys all for coming. Um, I don't know when I'll stream next, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow or Wednesday we'll see there's a new event out in DVD so I might be playing that I don't know if I'll stream that but um yeah I'm excited we need to progress the story more I need to find out what the heck happens to Bronia because she's getting you know she's gonna get brainwashed and we're gonna have to fight her aren't we so <laughs> Uh, I've downloaded the- oh hell yeah. Yeah, do it. Go get it. See what you pull. Tell me what you pull. <laughs> Yay! But yeah, thank you guys for all the follows and the raids and the subs and everything. I'm gonna get that VGen together. Yozo, I'm gonna check uh, if you DM'd me. Um, which- which one was it? Um, sorry, which one in my bio were you looking at? Um, this how do I get to my channel? The credit that you said was broken. Which one was it? Okay, yeah, feel free to DM me and then after I eat, I will come back to my PC and I will look at which one you're looking at. Uh, yeah, I, I'd like name every piece of art that I get with like the handle and everything and like how I, how I found them. So the icon one, let me see. Okay, so that icon one is um, not my current icon. It's like that little boba like icon um, that you see. I think that's the one that was by Kyuichi. That little boba one that's on the bottom, that was the icon one. The one that I actually have in my icon right now is like a different one. Is it the boba one that, um, that you were looking at? Or is it the one that you're actually looking at in my icon? Like in my little circle on Twitch? Cause that one I can easily give you like right now. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's this girl. Hero side. She does very pretty art. Very pretty art. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one that's also on my Twitter uh, icon as well. So same one, same one. So but yeah. Um, but thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to take us on over to my friend Ari. And it looks like she's just doing um, a little chill drawing stream. So I'm going to take us over there. But I hope everyone has a great rest of their night. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to finish some of these other quests tonight offline. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be back and uh, ready to go for the next stream. So it was fun. But yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.